Hey guys, welcome back to Simple Home and School. I know it's been a really long time, but I'm going to try to at least do curriculum videos and give you just some budget ideas for this upcoming school year for what we will be doing. Thanks for all that you checked in, but let's just dive right in. So we're, I'm going to start doing a morning meeting this year that's kind of extended longer than what we typically do, just to get a bulk of our work done, because I do have a preschooler that's still really active. So this stuff he can get involved in. And then um, by the time we take a break and hang out and eat, eat lunch, it'll be his nap time. So then I can do reading and math and just kind of the more serious stuff while he's down napping just to concentrate more. So this is what our morning meeting is going to look like. We'll have Bible, prayer, practice the book of Bible. We're going to do an apologetics and missionary study him twice a week. Calendar practice, flashcard practice, poetry Monday to Thursday, art study on Friday, watercolor study on Friday, history Monday, Tuesday, Friday, science or health Wednesday and Thursday, spelling um, spelling and writing, they are not um, at the same level, but we're just going to do it at the same time because they do use the same um, curriculum just at different levels. And then for computer, they do um, Math Mammoth games. Math Mammoth is our math curriculum. And at the beginning of each chapter, they have games that coincide with the chapter. So that while one of them is doing their Math Mammoth game to just kind of warm up for math that day, the other one's going to do piano. Right now, we're using Maria Miller's uh, Piano Lessons for Kids, which is the author of Math Mammoth. She has a free um, piano uh, lessons on her website. But we're going to try the Master Books's um, Classical Beginner 1 for a year. And if we like it, we'll get um, piano lessons. And then after I break, I, like I said, we'll do our individual subjects. So let's just dive into each. We'll start with this first section. So for this year for our Bible, we usually do community Bible study, but we are going to take a break this year from that. We're using Exploring the Bible together. They also have Exploring the Bible as a family and individual ones. And I like this because it it is actually studying the Bible. It's not just um, a random devotion, which there's nothing wrong with that. I still use those. I love them, but I just want the kids getting in the word and learning the Bible at this time of their life. Oh, I forgot to say, I'm, I will be having a second and a fourth grader going into next year. So what I love about this is you're going through the Bible in um, book order and you it tells you what section you're going to read. It gives you like a comprehension question and then kind of more a higher level or critical thinking question and then it just gives you kind of prayer points so we will do this and then we will just talk about the chapter if there's more that we need to dive into and then we pray together so that's how we start our day off every morning and then after that we do our apologetics and we have loved um, these books. I highly recommend them. You can get them on eBay for about $5 or thrift books for about $5 a piece. So what we do is we do one question a day and the kids just love them. This is what they look forward to every day. We do one question a day and the kids say what they think their answers are and then I read the answer and we can reference um, the Bible verses that go with it. So I think there's eight of these and we are will be on book three going into this next year. And then once we are done this, we are going to read the Little Pilgrim's Big Journeys books, which is the Pilgrim Progress books. Um, this is book two. We have book one on order. Um, so we'll read through that. And then um, we will read the missionary stories with the Millers after that. These are just missionary stories um, all over the world over time. And these are about, you know, five pages per chapter. So these are pretty short and sweet, but they're really good ways to see how people used their faith, um, you know, against enemies and bad things and their faith brought them through. Um, I'm going to save this for the closer to the end of the school year. This isn't really... Um, you know, missionary or apologetics, but just kind of a more of a fun read. It is a master from master books uses it for their um, paleontology. So we'll do that. A question of yams. I was thinking maybe at the end of the year, we'll do the next level of the Pilgrim's Progress story if we want to. And then if we get to it, we're going to use the Apologia who has got apologetics um, program and just start that. And if we don't finish it, we'll just take it on to the next year. 
next um, we will be doing a hymn study. I like the Norton Hall Band on YouTube. So I just picked out some hymns from them. I Ambleside Online also has a great list of hymn studies to follow. Um, so we'll just do this like twice a week or so. We'll sing hymns. The kids love doing this because if they hear the hymn in church, they just perk up because they already know the words and they love doing that. We just use these cheap flashcards off of Amazon. Um, and we'll, we do just maybe like 15 of each per day, depending on what level the kids are at. And then we will do calendar practice and we will do poetry every day. All I'm doing with poetry is we read one poem. That's it. We can talk about it. We can laugh about it. I'm not doing an in-depth study at all, but we are just going to read one poem a day. So it'll take about two minutes just for something fun. So I have this. This is the Winnie the Pooh author and Robert Louis Stevenson book. And we will work our way through those. If I run out, I'll get something else from the library. We're going to do art study and watercolor study on Friday. So for art study, the Osborne Book of Famous Paintings. My kids love art study. They love talking about art pictures and just kind of transforming into the picture. So this is what this book's like. It tells about the artist and about, about the background of the picture. And then while after I read that, I got this guide from Treehouse Schoolhouse. I will ask them um, two or three questions from this guide about the picture and we will discuss it. And then Fridays, we will also be doing these watercolor with me books. Um, you can get them off of eBay for about like 15 to 20 a piece, but they often have sales on Amazon where they're about 17. Um, so they are a little pricey, but I think they are totally worth it. Um, you learn different watercolor tech. They're very basic. You learn different watercolor techniques, wet on wet, wet on dry, ink and wash, um, and then they give you instructions and what colors you're going to need. They have a specific um, color palette you're supposed to buy. I think that's what it's called. And it's okay if you don't buy that specific color palette. As long as you have a palette that has colors that kind of match that, that's really all you need. And then you're going to, they have step-by-step -step instructions on how to paint your whale to look like that. So that's what my daughters have been doing they were so excited when I got this they had to start so this is for next year but they have other ones they have like watercolor in the jungle watercolor in the forest so that is that um for history next year we're going to continue doing story of the world it's we're going to do it a little bit different than this year I used to use the activity guide and we went through some of the stuff but I realized that pretty much all we used from the activity guide was the coloring pages and the comprehension questions so I'm like, I can just ask them comprehension questions. And I did, I already had the um, activity guide. So I copied the coloring pages so they can color while I read. And the first half of the year, we're gonna read um, volume three, which is still kind of thick. And I read one chapter every time we read so we can get through it. So sometimes it takes like, 15 minutes sometimes it takes 30 minutes depending on the length of the chapter but we'll try to finish this by Christmas and then the second half of the year this one is really thick we'll read book number four and if this goes into the summer that's okay we'll just continue to read it the kids love it and they love it when we just use it as like a read aloud so that's what we'll be doing for history I don't have everything we're going to do for science and my fourth grader is actually doing science individually by herself um but she's going to do, we're going to do this stuff together as a family because it is pretty light. Um, when the Good and the Beautiful discontinued this bird study, I purchased it for really cheap. It was like $10. Um, I bought an owl pellet dissection to go with it. Um, my girls love bird watching and burning. So this was just kind of a no-brainer for us this year. And if they want to go really in-depth into this study, then we will take as much time as we want using it. And then I also got the bird watching journals with it. These are a free PDF on the good and the beautiful that you can print if you would like to do that instead. But since I got the other ones for so cheap, I figured I would just get um, this and this coincides with the bird unit. Once we are done that, we are going to do safety. I have never done, and I got this old, I got an old safety unit 
on eBay for about $10. We have never done a safety unit and I thought this would just be good stuff to just cover and go over. Um, and then once we're done that, we're gonna do health. We've never done health before. I just got this at the thrift store, store for a couple dollars. And we're gonna go through this. This is a lot more about puberty and we'll just be um, studying that. And then I got these fun journals to go with it. And this just goes a little bit more in depth with each chapter that we're gonna be studying. And I know this isn't gonna take us the whole school year. So when we are done with this, I'm thinking we'll do Memoria Press Mammals with just my younger daughter. So my older daughter can focus on her science that she's doing. Or we can do um, the new Julia Rothman book for wildlife anatomy. We'll just kind of read through and study what they're doing in that book. Next, we're going to be doing handwriting together. I got three, oh, whoops. I got three handwriting of the handwriting books. And these are the notebooks. I got these on clearance on Rainbow Resource. They have like a college rolled and a wide rolled one and how we're going to be doing this is my second grade daughter will write two sentences and draw the animal on day one and day two she'll do the background and she'll write the next two sentences my fourth grade daughter is gonna day one write the print draw the animal the second day color in the background and then write the whole thing in cursive because she needs to work on her print and her cursive so we'll be doing that regularly um, to, well, two days a week, and then well, I'll have them do spelling at the same time, though they are on completely different levels. Um, my fourth grader is a very good speller. I'm considering not doing spelling at all, but I bumped her up to a sixth grade spelling, and we'll see how this goes. This is the Rod and Staff spelling. They have a hardcover textbook and a hardcover um, teacher guide, so she actually just writes her answers in a separate notebook. If you want to flip through of this, I can do a flip through of this. So basically day one, I'll have her copy each word three times. Day two, she'll do A. Day three, she do B. Day uh, four, she'll do C. And then she has the test. And then my second grader will be doing the second grade spelling. Kind of the same deal. Day one, she'll write the words three times. Day two, she'll do A. Day three, she'll do B. Day four, I'll have her like jump the words or like jump rope the words or write them in chalk. And day five will be our test. So we're just doing that at the same time, though they're not doing the same thing. And then the last couple things I have writing. I have raved about Just Write. I have done videos on Just Write. I've never used book three yet, but I am more than willing to just do a comparison of book one, two, and three. Book one, you start in second grade. Book two is third grade. Book three is fourth grade. So um, my second grader will do Just Right one. Book three is extremely thin. I had no clue. So I actually bought IEW, All Things Fun and Fascinating, because I think my daughter's going to be done this by about Christmas time. Um, and I wanted to teach her summary writing and I don't really know anything about IEW except for videos I watched. And it looks like they're, you know, kind of learning how to write summaries um, with that program. So I'm going to give that a try. I can um, talk about how that goes in the future. But this is how we're going to start our year. And then one more just neat thing I wanted to show you. I got these planners from the Dollar Tree for next year just to um, keep track of their planning so I'm just planning out about four or six weeks at a time but the thing I like about them is they have plenty of space for each um, subject I'm keeping track of what day of the school year it is but then they have these tasks on the bottom that you can write that they can check off and they also have the activities that they're in and you can mark which day of the week it is so it's just extremely organized and has everything they need to know for the week and um, you know just got it for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. So that's a lot to show you, but those are our family subjects for uh, this year. If you have any questions or wanna see a flip through of every, anything, I'm more than willing to show. 
Um, when I get to it, I will show curriculum for my pre-K individual subjects, my first, uh, second grade individual subjects, and fourth grade individual subjects for um, next year. So thanks for watching, and I will be back soon.